Take a whiff of the sea breeze. That salty scent that wafts off the waves as you stand by the ocean. What happens to that fragrance and a million others when you sink below the waterline? It turns out the sense of smell isn't just for those of us living on dry land. Olfaction is just as important, maybe even more so, to those living in the deep. The ocean is a swirling stew of smells. Clouds of chemical molecules dissolved in the water. It was here, in the brine of ancient oceans, that the sense of smell actually evolved in vertebrates. Fish were the first to develop nostril-like structures with smell receptors. When those receptors came into contact with dissolved scent molecules, they clicked together like puzzle pieces, triggering signals to the brain that got read as specific odors. Then, when ancient animals crawled out of the ocean and onto dry land, they began to sniff aromatic molecules out of the air. The wet linings of their noses took the place of seawater, dissolving the airborne molecules and sending scent messages to their brains. Some of those animals eventually went back to ocean life, but they never recovered their ability to smell below the surface, like many of today's whales. Fish, on the other hand, can still smell with the best of them, including many schooling fish who can literally smell danger. When one of them becomes injured, it releases a bouquet of chemicals called Shrekstoff, Alarm bells ring when neighboring fish in the school get a whiff of it, sending them swimming for the hills. A fish's ability to sniff out odors depends on how quickly they can move scent-filled water in and out of the chambers connected to their nares. On the top end are salmon, with a sense of smell thousands of times more accurate than dogs. Once back in the river of their birth, they're able to identify the exact stream they were born in using smell. Sharks, on the other hand, don't quite live up to the hype. Though they're pretty sensitive to odors and are often called swimming noses, it's a myth that they can smell blood from miles away. It's more like a swimming pool away. And it isn't just fish who can smell underwater. Many other ocean dwellers also put their sense of smell to good use. Like sea stars, who have two feet and chemoreceptors on their skin that can sniff out even the tiniest traces of potential prey. Or crabs, who use their scent-savvy attenuals to navigate, avoid predators, and to hunt down food and mates. And sometimes, being smelly is what does the trick like these nudibranchs who ooze stinky secretions to ward off predators. But all of these submarine sniffers are in danger. As the ocean absorbs ever-growing levels of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, it's becoming more acidic. And these soured waters can cause chemical reactions, which physically alter the shape of molecules, which is changing not just how the ocean smells, but is also disrupting the ability of underwater animals to detect things like food and mates, making it harder for them to survive. Though nature is often very good at adapting to new situations, these ocean dwellers may not be able to keep up with today's rapid pace of acidification. Though noses aren't always necessary, it's clear that the sense of smell plays a big role in life below the waterline. From odorous alarms to the fragrance of food floating on currents, the ocean is full of aromas just waiting to be sniffed out, 